Hello, hello everyone. How are y'all doing? This is Positive Thoughts and Energy. Thank you for stopping by my page. I'm doing something today. Um, see uh, what what the reading has for you and love, okay? What the reading has for you and love. I'm asking the spirit. What is it? This is Virgo's reading, but this is definitely for all signs. This is Virgo's reading, but it's definitely for all signs. Virgo's reading, but it's definitely for all signs, cross watchers, all signs, all signs, okay? Spirit, Holy Spirit, when it comes down to love, what is the message for Virgos in all signs? Thank you. Virgos is all signs. Well, it tells, it's got three cards here, okay? So, it's telling me Virgos in all signs, general, that you have really, um, gained a lot of confidence you have really gained a lot of control uh, you tamed yourself uh, you have definitely persevered a lot if you can see this lady has the infinity over her head which is beautiful um, also she has learned to love herself and has learned to have confidence in herself and that puts you uh, where you are ready for love because remember in order to track love you have to have the energy of love, okay? That means you have to learn to love yourself. You have to also learn to value who you are. Then that way you do not settle for anything less than, okay? And it's not saying that you better anyone, but you are your, you are your value, okay? And you also have the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is a, a, a person, he or she, how is it, however it fits into your life. This is a this is a person that is very, very um, natural. That motherly energy, that feminine energy, that motherly energy. You like to help others. Not only that, the spirit also ha tells you to follow your heart. Always follow your heart when it comes down to love. Um, <clears throat> follow your heart. Also have here where you're definitely you're definitely waiting for your seed to grow okay you're definitely waiting for your seed to blossom and it is it is you just have to continue you know you don't you never supposed to stop living uh while you're waiting on your other half okay you always just keep doing keep it's always something that we always within ourselves can continue to grow okay um and that is a beautiful beautiful thing um, so continue to build yourself, continue to work on yourself, continue to have that confidence that you already have. Um, you have that confidence of a person that, you know, you have learned um, that you're not going to settle for anything less than, that you are going to be your authentic self. And when I say authentic self, that means that you know exactly what you want and you are who you say you are. Your authentic self is what's going to attract the person that is for you. Always remember that. That representative is only going to be there for a short time and then the true person going to come out. So be your authentic self. Just lay on the table what it is that you want. Lay on the table of who you really, really are. Okay? very nourishing, very motherly, like to help others. And Spirit is saying, follow your heart, Virgos, and my general readers, okay? Uh, this is something that you definitely lay and you think about. Am I ever going to have love? Is love going to ever come to me? Am I ever going to get love? Is anybody going to ever see me? Well, let me tell you something, Virgo, and my general signs, all my signs that love is gonna to come to you as soon as you continue continue to not think about it and work on you, okay? You keep busy, keep doing things that you love to do, find your passion of what you like to do, and follow your heart with that passion. And that path will lead you to someone that you really, really, it's going to be passionate about and I just spoke of passion passion you have the ace of wands that is here I hope you can see that there's a little glare here you have the ace of wands that is here 
and these cars are really like uh, really colorful within I like these cars it's just a paperback and it's hard to shuffle them but you have the ace of wands the ace of wands is all about excitement passion yes exactly what is it that you are passionate about um, start digging deep into who you are look at who you are who are you because we all are different unique people people we all have different gifts we all have gifts within us so yes you're lying there and you're thinking oh when am I going to get my when am I love coming in when am I going to fall in love when am I yes it's coming okay but right now you don't stop your life you don't put your life and sit there and wait and if you can don't even think about it on don't think about it too long because let me tell you how love works Love is going to come in right when you're least expecting. That's because you're going to be on a vibration of doing what you love to do. There is something exciting coming in for you. Okay? Um, Ace of Wands is all about excitement. It's, it's, like the, it's like the seed. You see the universe is holding this. It's excitement. Something that you're passionate about. Think about it. Think about it, Virgo, and my, all my signs. Think about it. What is it that you're really passionate about? What is it that you might have been putting on the back burner because you're so focused on getting love right now? You have to love yourself first. When you love who you are first, when you really put all of that energy into yourself and what it is that you that makes you excited, that makes you want, that, that you're a passionate about, trust and believe. That's when the universe said, okay, she's on the right track. She's loving herself. She's pouring into herself. She or he, I've it fits. Uh, you're pouring into yourself. And, uh, okay, bam, I'm going to give her this. All right? For some of you, you can be very defensive. Defensive. That's why love is not coming in. Some of you can be carrying a very strong-like energy. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. Some of you can be carrying a very strong defensive energy. And that sometimes can, the right one, it can, um, may not show up. Some of you can be too defensive, okay? Lighten up a little bit. So you see how she's just holding on to that wand like, you know, uh-uh, you're not going to hurt me. Uh-uh, you're not going to do this to me. Some of you need to really lighten up a little bit. You really need to just lighten up. And just, I'm not telling you to take your whole guard down. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying, but just ease up off yourself some. Don't be so defensive when someone comes towards you and you're thinking, you, you're thinking that they're out to get you or they're out to hurt you, okay? Lighten up a little bit. Let go of that wand a little bit. You're very, very defensive here. And um, that right there could be stopping some of y'all. Because you're too defensive um, towards someone that's trying to come towards you. Well, you have the, the lover's card. Yes, you have this definitely. Um, the lovers can be someone, um, a twin flame. You could be about to deal, you're about to meet someone, maybe possibly a Gemini. And I'm not saying that it's a Gemini. It can be any other sign, but that's what comes out in this card very strong, okay? Which is the lover's card. If you can see that, I might have had it too close, sorry. Um, but the lover's, it, it could be a friend. It could be someone, it could be a friend that you probably least expect um, that wants to come towards you, but because you are so defensive and you have your own way of... Um, handling things that's why i say a lot of you need to just you know uh let loose uh when i say let loose i don't mean like booty loose i'm saying you know just kind of let go of this wand a little bit some of you is just so uptight and you cannot allow no one's going to come in with that type of energy that you have i'm just going to keep it real and raw with you because of some of you are so defensive because you think that person, that next person going to do the same thing to you that this previous or whatever you've been through in your past. I also see that uh, some of you have a lot of options. But because you have a lot of options, you really don't have your focus. Okay? Some of you have a lot of options when it comes down to, to attracting that right person. But a lot of you not keeping your focus on what it is that you really... You're so into all these other ones 
that really does not, really does not have no good intentions for you. They are either snakes, bites, or uh, just want to just hit it and go and want to this and that. A lot of you have these options and you need to stay focused on what you want. That means that stay focused. This is the divine. This is the divine. Stay focused in your faith and what you want, okay, and what you believe in. That's what this is because when you have all these options, you can't see what's in front of you because you're so you so you so uh, into what all you have, who all like you, who all just really just just fall over for you. This is for man and woman. You just so you just so focus on, oh, you know, this person like me, that person like you're not even focused on 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 a certain person. That's the divine. You're not focusing on what what the spirit, what God has for you. Uh, you're so in tune though who all likes you and they do not have your best interests. I'm just gonna put it out there to you. We all want love. Yes, we do. We all want to be loved. We all want that house. We all want that 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 happy life, happy wife, happy husband. Um, but we're not willing to put in the work and really stay focused. How can you focus when you have so many options? How can you focus on trying to set yourself up so that love can find you when you have all these options? And that's all they are is options. That is all they are is options. You don't get it. Some of you just don't get it. And 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 I am a very 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 um, very uh, uh, nice person, but sometimes I get very aggravated because I had to learn this. Sometimes we want things fast and we want it in a hurry. But you got to realize if you're a type of man, if you're a type of woman, whatever gender role this is for you. If you're that type that has all these options, just have women and men just flopping at you, just flopping at you, how can you be focused on one thing? You got to set yourself up to be focused to one thing, one person, so that you can attract that person in. You can't attract that person in when you have so many friends, so many, everybody just wanting to add you, everybody, you can't focus that way. You can't, you can't do it. There's no way you can attract love. You're going to attract everything but love. You know? Yeah. It's Virgo again. Um, yeah. So in this, you have to, you have to listen to your intuition. Uh, some of you, um, Virgos and my, all my signs, some of you are very spiritual. Some of you are just now really getting in tune with your spiritual side of yourself. Um, some of you have secret knowledges. So you, some of you don't realize that you really have that gift. And this is intuition. This is to guide you, okay? It's to guide you. you everyone needs this. This is a like a GPS within our system. We need within our, in our body system is what I'm saying, okay? Not only that, you have the King of Pentacles. A lot of you are really, really focused on your money. And that is that is absolutely that is absolutely good. Um, that is that is awesome. A lot of you are just focusing on your money. You're focusing on you know your your stability. A lot of you are focused on you know continue to work on yourself, and that is absolutely great because that person's going to come along. But as long as you have a bunch of options, you don't give that person room. You don't even have time to even focus on that one person. Because some of you have so many options. You, how how you expect for something to come in? Until you start swiping all those out of your life and start focusing on you and what you want and what you're not going to settle for, there's no way you can attract love. You're going to attract some things to you. Just be careful and don't attract some disease. I'm just going to tell you. Okay? You do have someone that's coming in, but this person's coming in very slowly. You have the Knight of Pentacles. This person's going to come. This person is moving very slowly. This person is very, very well groomed. This it could be a man, a man or woman, however it fits in your life. She's very, very. Uh, she dresses very nice, smell good. He dresses very nice, smell good. Has a nice ride. Has a nice car. Um, about his pentacles. This person is a knight of pentacles. This, this is a slow moving person. The reason why this person is coming towards you is because they they definitely 
uh, really uh, go with the pros and cons of, in other words, they try to investigate you before they move forward on you. So this is a slow energy, but sometimes slow wins the race, you know, sometimes slow ends up winning the race because this person is really taking the time to know or get to find out a lot about you okay so you do have a nine of a knight of pentacles coming towards you okay but it's very slow energy yes this person is really thinking about you they all in the head they're thinking about you they're thinking about maybe uh what to say to you how to come to you but that card falls up under the defensive defensive um, and um, that that tells me again, some of you are very defensive. You need to kind of just, you know, there's a time that you're supposed to be defensive. But when you're trying to attract love, you can't be defensive. You know, you got to be, you know, like, okay, calm down and, you know, kind of let go. Get your shoulder off of the wand. You know, get your shoulder off the wand because you can't attract somebody in. This person wants to come into you, but you are so defensive. That's probably why they're moving so slow. Okay? You see that? You're not you're not letting them in. You're like, Rawr! you know, like, no, I'm not moving. You know, or whatever the case may be. So just kind of um, don't be so um, uptight. You know, when it comes down to love, because you can be pushing off the, you could be pushing off the right person. Okay, all right. Okay, well, Virgos and my um, my other signs, my general reading signs. Um, like I say, the overall to this whole thing, when it comes down to love, uh, love yourself. Uh, don't sit and put your life on hold looking for love. Continue to build on yourself. Continue to work on yourself. We all, every day, we all are our process, okay? We all have something on that we need to work on within ourselves. Even when it comes down to a whole total different mind frame, a whole total different way of thinking, okay? Um, you know, meditate more, um, uh, spiritually, you know, meditate, yoga, all that kind of stuff to get your mind right for your next mate. There's a lot you can do while you waiting for this soulmate. And the reason why, or you, your your other half, the reason why they haven't came in, because you're not loving yourself. When I say that, I don't mean standing in the mirror taking pictures all day. I'm talking about really digging into who you are, really digging into your authentic self of who you really are and and, and um, improving yourself. And, and, and if some of you have trust issues, you need to, you know, maybe um, work on your trust issues, you know, maybe go online and look up some things, maybe some some um, mentors that has uh, would have to reprogram your mind from being um, hurt so bad um, that you can't trust. Uh, it can be from abandonment issues, you know, that you can't trust. So uh, there's a lot every day that we need to work on within ourselves in order to track someone. But I do see someone coming in that, but they're slow moving because you're so defensive. And um, this could possibly be your twin, twin flame. That means that you both going to mirror each other. Okay, you're gonna fit like a puzzle together. Okay, um, you're gonna be on the same uh, wavelength with each other. And then also, spirit says, get more in tune in your spiritual self. Okay, you're very intuitive. Uh, follow your passion, whatever your passion is. Okay, something about your passion. Don't just lay there and think about, oh, when is he coming? When is she coming? I'm ready for love. I'm. With Are you really ready for love? Are you really ready? Some of you can be so into your pentacles that you don't even have time for someone. You say, oh, well, I deal with it when I deal with you. You have to make time for that person. You have to be ready to, to sacrifice time when you're used to doing things by yourself. You have to be willing to do things. Are you really ready for that? Because some of you are so used to being single and making your own money and doing your own thing. Are you really ready to put that down? You know, ask those questions to yourself. Like Spirit says here, Queen of Cups, follow your heart. Follow your heart. Okay? You have overcome a lot. You have gained a lot of confidence. And that is great to all my all my signs. That is beautiful. But you have to also continue. Continue to tame yourself. Continue to work on yourself. Continue to do all you can. 
but you need to have one focus. If you want one person, you can't have all of these options. Just because you have those options doesn't mean that you have to take those options, okay? You have to get down to what it is that you really want. And what that is, is you have to be your authentic self. You have to be true to yourself. Point blank, up top, you have to say what it is that you want. When you meet someone, you have to speak it. You have to speak it. This person wants to come towards you, but they're all in their head because they see that you have a lot of options. They're thinking that they don't even have a chance with you because of all of the options they see that you have. So there is someone that's coming, but they're moving very slow because they're all in their head because it falls right up under the Seven of Cups. And that tells me that they're all in their head because they see that you have a lot of options. And where do they fit in at? Because you're so focused on all these options who all giving you attention that you don't even see maybe your potential husband or your potential wife because you're so focused on the attention that you're getting from other people and that's why this is slow moving this is why this is why it's slow moving because this person don't know if they even have a chance they think about it a lot you see here hangman they're thinking about it a lot so so look at yourself look at yourself right now look at yourself and see where you are right now what is it that you're doing? Do a do a uh, report on yourself. I mean, be true to yourself. Don't cheat yourself. What is it that you're doing that you could be stopping yourself from getting your love that you want? All right? That has been your love reading. I'm sorry it didn't say, oh, blossoms and flowers and this and that. And, oh, he's going to come in and fall at your footstep. No, I'm not, I'm not here to give you that. I'm here to give you what you really, really need to hear. And that's what the Spirit is telling me. Some of you need to let go of a lot of these options that you have in order to find, in order for that person to stand out. In order for that person to stand out. See that? In order for that person to stand out right here, you got to let go of those other options. All right? So think about it. Listen to this again and again until you get it. All right? I love you all. Thank you, all my signs. This is for Virgo and all my signs. All right? Have a good day.